Right now, city transportation workers are managing hundreds of traffic signals all across Austin. They use sensors and surveillance cameras to change the lights when any backups happen. But city leaders now want to take this program one step farther, trying out some new technology that changes a traffic signal on its own. KXAN's Amanda Dugan explains. The pilot program is currently being tested at several intersections along South Lamar Boulevard, starting at Treadwell Lane near the Alamo Draft House, all the way down to Brody Oaks. The pilot program installs software at signal lights that allows the lights to then adapt to changes in traffic volumes. For example, if a crash on Mopac is causing drivers to use Lamar Boulevard as an alternate route, the lights adapt timing to accommodate the additional traffic load. This also applies during peak travel times. The city is also looking to add this technology on North Lamar from MLK to Barton Springs Road and Burnett Road north of Highway 183. Loop 360 from 183 to Westlake Drive is also being considered for the adaptive signal lights. Lamar. City of Austin Lamar officials Austin say that if Lamar this pilot program works driveway. well on South Lamar, Lamar, the program could expand by this spring. With it being a pilot, we're, do, we're going through and we're doing some learning on it and testing it out. So we may in some cases take a step back as we take it two steps forward. The pilot program is also being proposed along the I-35 frontage roads from Old Tour Street over to MLK Boulevard. In South Austin, Amanda Dugan, KXA News. And city officials say you can help Austin's traffic by calling them whenever there's a problem. They actually consider drivers, by the way, they're extended employees. They say any time a traffic signal stops working or takes too long, you should punch in 311 on your cell phone, of course, when you're not driving. Officials say the city receives about 1,000 complaints a month to 311, and they would like to see some more.